Okay, so we have a trade. The first trade we have seen in a very, very long time. And I'm not at home. I'm out toy hunting because, you know, the OTC penny stock market has been very good to me lately, so I thought I would splurge a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about that at the end here. But the Red Wings have made a trade. They have traded forward Dmitro Timoshev over to the New York Islanders for future considerations. Steve Eiserman is getting out here again with another future considerations trade, but instead of acquiring a bad contract like Mark Stahl as well as a draft pick, he's trading away a guy in Dmitro Timoshev, whom the Red Wings pretty much didn't really have a spot for, I would say. And the only reason I say that is because of the fact that he was even traded for future considerations. This was a guy whom the Red Wings acquired for free. He was a waiver wire pickup who made his full-time NHL debut this most recent season in 2019-20 with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was drafted by Toronto, 2015 fifth round pick, and now as a 24-year-old guy who spent his entire career in the AHL with the Marlies, he played 39 games this most recent season with Toronto. He had, I believe it was like nine points or something. It was something in the one singular digits. He didn't really produce all too much. He was sent back down. Detroit picked him up. He played five games with the Red Wings. Didn't really do much, but he was still a guy whom a lot of people saw somewhat of a projectable offensive ceiling in some capacity because he was a pretty good scorer in the AHL. He was a pretty good scorer in the QMJHL, but now he's in New York. So for the Islanders, what you're getting, it's a pretty good reclamation project, I guess. He's a guy who doesn't really have, I would say, the most high ceiling out there, but at the end of the day, he is a guy who you're probably going to... There's a plane outside. Not <laughs> the best ideal uh, recording conditions over here, but he is indeed a guy who has a lot to prove. If he wants to become a full-time NHL player, he's going to need to prove that this season. He's going to need to prove that in your bottom six, I would guess, because there certainly are some offensive tools that Dmitry Timoshev has. It's just he has not exploited those in the National Hockey League just yet. So again, it's a small trade for the Red Wings. I guess what you're doing here is you're pretty much giving this guy a favor. You're doing him a favor, I guess, because if you're Steve Eiserman and you're saying, okay, we have these bottom six forwards, we acquired Bob be Ryan, we acquired all these other guys, and we have some young prospects who might make the team. Who knows if a guy like Dmitry Temeshov, who is 24, who is in somewhat of a questionable state as to whether or not he's a full-time NHL player, is going to be the most guaranteed. So just for the sake of giving this guy an opportunity elsewhere on a winning team like the Islanders, let's send him over there. We'll get some future considerations back. What those future considerations are right now, we don't know. They're future considerations. So for the moment, it's pretty much just nothing. Same thing with the Mark Stahl trade as well. But yeah, that's our Red Wings trade. It's been so long since we've made an actual trade video. And it's kind of funny because the last one we made, the last trade we saw was actually a video that I shot on my phone as well. I was over at a buddy's house when Nate Schmidt got traded to the Vancouver Canucks. But it is indeed a very good day for toy hunting. I ended off the, uh, the stint with some bubble tea because, you know, of course, of course. But uh, yeah, I was... Now that we're here at the end of the trade talk, I guess, let's just catch up with me because we're only at 3.30. I'd like to make this video a little bit longer. I have indeed made my way over to the local Toys R Us because they did stack themselves up with a few of the new Arkham figures from McFarlane. So I'm very, very happy to see a lot of this stuff enter my collection because as a guy who has been collecting figures for so long, this definitely is... Um, a blessing in disguise seeing McFarlane coming out here with the new 7-inch line. This Deathstroke is the second version of a Deathstroke I already have. I have the DC Collectibles one that was made a few years ago. But also, I made my big trek out here to the local TRU because Toxin, this guy was on sale, 31 bucks when it's normally like 40 or whatever. This is a bath for the Marvel Legends line, pretty much condensed into one small little package, and I absolutely love it. It's so heavy. Need to open this up when I get home, but uh, yeah, you guys caught me at a bad time, Steve Eiserman and his crew. The Red Wings making trades while I'm out there looking for the best version of the Deathstroke that's available over there on the toy shelves, but... We are indeed finished up with this video, I guess. We're at 4.40 now. That was a long talk about my day. But 
Yes, the Red Wings have made a trade. Yes, it's the first trade we've seen in a while. Is this the second wave starting? Who knows? Talk to me in the comments what you think about Dmitry Temeshov. If you're a New York Islanders fan, where do you see this guy lining up? If, of course, you guys bring him back, he is a guy who does indeed need a contract, I believe. I saved that detail for the very end because I'm not sure. If it is correct, then hooray for me, pats on the back. But if it's not correct, then I apologize. So Islanders fans, what do you think? Red Wings fans, what do you think about the future considerations? Talk to me in the comments what you think of you enjoyed this video. And bye.